specific standard time, 18 hours and 37 minutes, an unidentified flying object emitting a regulatory signal crashed into the Pacific Ocean. This is Ringboot. Eldridge, do you read? This is Eldridge. Floating object discovered, thought to be part of the cage. Point in 178 Chief! You don't have to yell, Mookie. I can hear you just fine. It's an emergency. Sharon's drowning in the e-pool. Come quickly. I'm right above you. I'll be right there. Hurry, Chief! Fools. <laughs> Did you forget it's April Fool's Day? You, you know, we don't have time for these fun and games. Sorry, Chief. The mood around the big table had been kind of stuffy lately. So, I had to play a joke before going crazy. What do you mean, stuffy? You were just transferred here a week ago. So, you may not have noticed, but it's been especially stuffy lately. The army people have been really uptight. Releasing Navy Area Arm. Switch off Seafox Automatic Pilot System and adjust the blast. Roger. Seafox Automatic Pilot System off. Seafox, play ball. This time Mermaid may be waiting for you. Yeah, I wish. If only they were real mermaids. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What the... What was that? Hey, stop! Seafox, do you read me? Seafox, what's wrong?
Attention please, would ERS, John Mayer, immediately report to the CCD area deck group? I repeat, would ERS, John Chief, Mayer, I think they need you. That one is an emergency CCD call. I wonder what happened. I'd better go. <laughs> hey, Chief, you got a call? You could say that. John, take care of yourself. Thanks. Mayor, we've got a serious situation. What's the problem? A while ago, the Sea Fox, which was just getting ready to depart, crashed into the Navy area. Crash? What happened? We don't know yet. I asked Dubois, the designer, to come too. Oh, there's no problem with my Sea Fox system. No accident should have occurred. Oh! We can't get through on the wireless to either the Sea Fox or the Navy area. We have no idea what's going on over there. This is terrible. My masterpiece is ruined. Oh! What am I gonna do? The rescue force has been contacted, but they can't make it for a while. Do you want the ERS to go in? The Navy area is top secret and out of your jurisdiction. But we don't have a choice. I want the ERS to go check it out in the Little Shark. We're ready to leave any time. Dubois, the Navy area diagram. The Navy area has an emergency pool which you can come out of. First, find Dr. Weisberg. This is the top priority. Next, move the Navy area and connect it to the big table. That'll be all. Copy. Fine. I'll give this to you. It's the Navy area level one key. Get ready right away. I'll do my best. I don't want any word of this leaking out. There are civilians here. We don't want to start a panic. Understood. worried that you were mad. I'm not mad. More importantly, Mookie, how's the little shark? Best conditions. Like the Yankees in 96. Why? What's up? An accident in the Navy area. We're the first to go in. You mean we get to go in and check out the Navy secret weapons with our own eyes? Hey, this is no joke, Mookie. You've got an important job to do. I'll fill you in later. Yes, sir. Okay, Mookie, let's slide on into home. Hurry up and get out, Mookie. Where's the key, Chief? You mean this? Thanks. I'll go first. Can't wait to get a look at the top secret weapons. Okay, let's hurry. You're slow, Chief. I didn't think you were that old. He's hurt. Hey, you okay? Kill. Kill me, please. What? Kill me, please.
Chief, this is bad. We haven't finished our mission. We have to save the doctor. Please, no! You saw how that guy turned into a monster. I know. That was strange. Yes, this is Mayor. This is Clancy. What's the situation over there? Besides the air system being down, there seems to be no major damage. Also, one of the survivors turned into a monster. A monster? What are you talking about? Anyway, save the doctor, and hurry up and start the Navy area docking operation. SEALs are on their way. We'll leave the final solution up to them. They'll run out. You heard the man. Let's go. Mookie, pilot me around the Navy area. Wait! Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. But on the condition that you give me my vacation one week earlier. Then I'll take you around the Navy area wherever you want. Okay. I'll see to it you get topside earlier. All right. I gotta get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, yeah! Here's the key back. So, will it move? Have faith. I'll let you know when it's ready. You still remember that one-week deal, right? Yeah, yeah. Stella, it, it can't be. Gina Weisberg, am I? Head researcher? Hey, can you hear me? Dr. Weisberg, I'm John Mayer of the ERS. Mookie, is it going to move? No sweat. I was rolling my gas convoy when I was three. Get a move on. We'll be back at the big table soon. Friend? Just kidding. Danny, there's a monster. We have to shut off this area. What was it this time? Another mermaid? It's true. I saw it. It was terrible. I'm sick of your horror stories. I'm not lying, right, Chief? Danny, maybe you should seal off the area. Well, I took care of the monster. Maybe you caught precious psychosis. That's Dr. What Weisberg! I I'll go to Commander Clancy's room. Not very friendly, huh? But she's beautiful. Mookie, go return Little Shark before the area is shut off. What? I told you there's a monster down there. Didn't you say you just took care of it? Okay. 
I'll go. I'll go. I'll go with you part way. Don't be scared, kid. Don't call me kid. What's the matter, Dubois? John, it's a facility check. I have this strange feeling. That doesn't sound too good. Oh, definitely. It's from the air unit area. It's howling at the top of its lungs. I wonder if it's wearing down. Can it be fixed? Oh, not right away. Oh, by the way, Commander Clancy was looking for you. Okay. Dr. Weisberg, I think you should rest a bit in the infirmary. Yes, but there's something I want to check on, so I'm going back to my room in the MI area. Thanks for everything, Mr. Mayor. John's fine. Excuse me. Thanks for going, Mayor. I heard everything from Dr. Weisberg. A human being turning into a creature? What's going on in the Navy area? What goes on in there is top secret. Now, I'm afraid I can't answer your questions, but I will say this. The Navy has nothing to do with the creatures. But, but... Anyway, a SEAL team has been called in for the rescue. Until they arrive, the Navy area will be sealed off. This is Clancy. What? Okay, I'll be right there. The Sea Fox. It's in a bad situation. Mayor, you come to the deck, too. Okay. The Sea Fox missile hatch is open. Either there was a malfunction, or someone opened it from the inside. I can hear water in the Sea Fox's torpedo room. A torpedo will be launched in less than 10 seconds. It has a sonar tracking device. Everyone on base, until instructions are given, do not make a sound. Stop all construction work. I repeat, do not make a sound. This is not a drill. that sound it's the air unit area oh my god on. That was close. But the air system isn't working. The pressure's dropping. 
There's a threat the big table could be flooded. Report the damage immediately. moment. Someone is operating it from inside. Nuclear terrorists? How is the Poseidon missile launch code deactivated? Two keys must be entered within the Sea Fox command room. Has the SEAL team arrived yet? The Coast Guard has arrived, but it'll be a while before the DSRV arrives. We don't have a minute to spare. Mayor, you were a SEAL Team 6 member, right? Didn't you have training in decoding nuclear missile launches? Uh, yeah, but... I'm sorry, we don't have any time. Get aboard the Sea Fox and take care of the situation. Go now! But, but... Your submarine should be able to dock with the Sea Fox. Just in case, I'll give you this. It's a standard weapon storeroom pass card. If something happens in the Sea Fox, use this to get a weapon. Good luck. Hitter Mookie is safe at home. Mookie, we have to go again. What? How come we get all the dangerous jobs? We don't have time to wait for the SEALs. But if it's nuclear terrorists, they would wipe us out with one missile. Let's pray that doesn't happen. ERS, what happened? Everyone's dead from the strange disease. Hell, I might have caught it too. There's a submarine at the hatch waiting for you. What about you? I have some things to do in the back. Be careful. The air in a ship is dangerous from fires. Use a regulator when the air doesn't clear things up. Okay, thanks. Are you okay? Are you the ship's captain? Yes, I, I'm Dallas Silver, the ship's captain. What happened here? We, we picked up that thing. Have you seen the creature? That thing? We don't know who's been infected. Half the crew transformed. One missile was launched, and now a nuclear warhead is being armed. Who's doing it? Second in command. He crashed the ship into the Navy area and wants to blow up the big table with a missile. I tried to stop him. Where is he? Uh, 
downstairs. I want to disarm the nuclear warhead, but I can't move. It's up to you. Here, it's the key to the officer's vault. Inside is the nuclear missile control key. With the key and the second in command's password, the vault will open. But only the second in command's knows the password. Guess, guess I'm not as young as I used to be. The blast tank burst. A sad ending for the Sea Fox. Millions of dollars down the drain. Are you okay? I feel cold all of a sudden. This is Little Shark. Mission accomplished and returning. This is Big Table. The CCD area pool cannot be used because of the SEAL's DSRV. Wait a minute! Head towards the MI area pool. Over. No way! The MI area is in the opposite direction! What are they thinking? It's far, but oh well. I'm going to accelerate. Hold on. I'll go first and take a look around.
has died. The creature got him. Uh -huh. Well, the SEAL team has arrived. Is that so? I know it's tough, but try to return to the CCD area as soon as possible. Escape with the other survivors. You should have a map in your PDA. Roger. Mayor, thanks to you, we're safe from nuclear danger. Well done. out of here because of the laser lock how do you unlock it make it so that the laser can be seen there's always a way to beat technology how the fastest way is insecticide spray there should be a manual somewhere that we made stay here until I start up the air system please John what's happened to the big table there was an accident and you I couldn't get out because of the air system damage. Look at this. I found this cell from one of the creatures. And this is a mouse's cell with the creature's cell implanted. What is this? The creature cell is transforming into the mouse cell at an unbelievable speed. Transforming? Right. This cell transforms into other living things and copies their original characteristics. I've never seen anything like this. I've seen it. A human turning into a creature. The transforming cell eats the original cells at a high speed and eventually takes over the body. Is there anything that can stop it? It, it must have a weak point. Something has to be done. But there isn't enough data. <coughs> Sorry. I have had this cold since last night. <laughs> cold? Have you been attacked by a creature? Any other symptoms besides a cold? I've been attacked a couple of times. Really, no other symptoms. Can I draw some blood? Uh, am, I, am I being taken over, too? I don't know, but it just hit me that you've been attacked and haven't changed. If you don't change, we may have a lead. I'll let you know the results. And what are you going to do? I have to get back to the CCD area. Okay, but to get out of this area, you have to go through the net lock system. And how do I do that? You need the help of an MI area researcher. If you could operate the air system, I could help you. But we can't go out because there's no air. Right. Oh. What about the chimpanzee? Anthony? I can't find him. I'm worried. What's wrong? bitten by a mouse that came out of the ventilation and got sick. What do you want? I want to repair the air system. I just threw away the old IC in the junk area. If we have it, the air system can be fixed. Here. I'll be right back. Don't move. <laughs> no way. Not even at gunpoint. There are creatures all over the place out there. The air system is running. Please help me release the net lock. Before that, I found two more things about the parasite cell. What? I didn't find a parasite cell in your blood. But I did find a cold virus 
and gave it to a mouse. The virus kept the parasite away. A solution? Not necessarily. It just means that the parasite cell does not enter bodies infected with a virus. The virus alone cannot fend off the parasite cell. Oh. But there's one more important find. The parasite cell is weak in oxygen. Oxygen? For most animals, oxygen is actually lethal. Because of the low level, humans can live on Earth. This parasite cell has a lower oxygen tolerance than humans, so even the oxygen in the air weakens them. That means... If we fill the big table with a lot of air, then the parasite cell should weaken. Let's go release the net lock. It's okay now. You should be able to go through at any time. What about you? I'll stay here a little more. I'll notify you when I found the creature's weak points. Okay. Be careful. John, thanks for everything. You're welcome, Dr. Weisberg. Call me Gina. <laughs> okay, Gina. I could ask you the same question. I'm coming down. Do I look like a monster? <laughs> In a way, yes. <laughs> I'm Anna Lawrenson, DN Company Diver. What are you doing here? Returning to the CCD area. The area lock is broken. It can't be repaired, but there is a way in. How? Easy. Torch the area lock panel and rewire it. Where can I find a torch? Find it yourself. I'm busy looking for Rambo. Rambo? A bulldog. My companion. I usually let him roam around here. If something happens, he usually returns right away. But in these conditions, I'm worried. So, I don't have time to talk. Bye.
you. Just for that, I'll tell you that the torch is in the DN area. Come with me to the CCD area. It should be safer there than here. No. I don't like Navy folk. Besides, I have this. I'll return to the DN area. Your own area is the safest. I'll give you this. It's the DN area spare key. Use it. Fujiyama. I work for the Shirahata Corporation. What are you doing here? I was collecting monitor data on my company's products. Are you from a rescue team? Yes. I was hiding built there a monster. Have you come to save me? Yes, but I have to return to the CCD area. For that, I need your torch. Excuse me. But I can't trust you because you might be a monster. Let's make a deal. A deal? You want this torch. I'll give it you. In return, give me something I can use. I don't have any money. Oh no, not money. What I want is monitor data on the big gym. The big gym? Any pressure. Water diving wear. It's my company. Latest product. I don't know where the monitor data is. I want you to look for it. Good there. Don't you think? <sighs> okay, I'll look for it. Please copy it onto this. Wait here. I can go back to my company. This is what was promised. Your company is fine too, but you have to get out of here alive first. It's okay. Well, don't worry. My company's big dream is invisible. Mayor, ERS. Wait a minute. I found a civilian carrying a gun. The name is John Mayer. Okay. I'm sorry. Commander Clancy is waiting for you. Please go to his room right away. Glad you made it back, Mayor. Thanks to you, we're out of danger for a while. This is SEAL Colonel McCoy, who's come to help in the rescue. Long time no see, John. Uh, Colonel McCoy. You know each other. He was one of my men. One of the best. I didn't know that you were hiding here. I thought you were done with the ocean after that day. Well, there's no time to talk about it now. Yes, Commander. Unfortunately, the monsters you were talking about are real. They're humans, but their bodies have been taken over. How's the civilian area? There were some survivors. Most of them were taken over, though. Should we get started with the emergency planning? Okay. Let's go into the meeting room. I've heard about the enemy's weak points from Gina. Planning meeting? We've got to get out of here as soon as possible. Mayor, I'm sorry. 
but no civilians beyond this point. scared, so I came here. Oh, uh, this is Dr. Weisberg, the MI area lead researcher. Nice to meet you. I'm Sharon State. Nice to meet you, too. Mayor, you, you don't look too happy. Yeah, I met someone I didn't want to meet. What? Colonel McCoy, my former commander. I was in a lot of special missions under him. The team almost got wiped out once, but because of his actions and bravery, we were saved. I just barely survived. Anything was possible with Colonel McCoy. But that day, Stella, Colonel McCoy's younger sister, I killed her. She was my fiance. Do you want to tell me about it? You shouldn't keep it locked up inside. Mayor, you saved me before. Now it's my turn to help you. Um. I think I'm in the way, so I'll leave. It was my first day off in a while. The weather was pretty nice. There was a storm coming, but I was confident in my yachting skills, and I ignored Colonel McCoy's warning and took Stella out on the ocean. The yacht was swept into the storm. To a storm, the yacht was like a leaf in the wind. Stella was thrown out into the ocean. I tried to save her. But there was nothing I could do. And only I survived. Colonel McCoy said nothing to me. That made it even worse. I couldn't handle the guilt, and I left the team. Oh. Even if I wanted to forget it, I, I can't. It'll take time. As time passes, you'll come to understand each other, I'm sure. area round of battle. Mm, oh, it's dangerous to fight there. Oh. Why? Oh, if the air system is broken, not only will there be no air, but there will be a pressure buildup and the building will collapse. Damn. And if all the air leaks into the ocean, the air will expand and cause a blowout phenomenon above water. We've got to tell Clancy and make him stop. Commander, we call the SEAL team at once. Why? If the area unit is damaged in the battle, the air pressure will explode the big table. You must call them back. Oh, damn. This is Aquarius. Pisces. Pisces, answer. I can't contact the SEALs. I have a bad feeling. Can you go and call them back? Okay. I'll contact them to open the docking area for you. It's in your hands now. Damn seals! Open up! This is my turf! Wow! It opened! 
open. What? You were here? What do you want? Danny, get the gondola ready. The SEALs are heading towards the air unit area. If they fight there, it'll be a disaster. Come with me to the launch area. The gondola is back in place. You can go anytime. What are you gonna do? I'm calling the SEALs back. Oh, I have to take care of the docking unit, so I'll let you take care of this big job. I have one word of warning, though. What? The air unit area has no air system. In case there is a fight, watch the oxygen. Okay. John! Don't die!
This is Eldridge. Our Harrier has fallen into the ocean. Prepare for impact. Commander, a large object is dropping this way. What next? Are they trying to pull me off first string again? to reserve power. That was big. 60% of big table lost power. But you're all right. That's what counts. Where are the seals? I couldn't help them. Well, one of them came back in the gondola. He was covered in blood from head to foot. Colonel McCoy? Where did he go? I don't know. I tried to help, but he brushed me aside and went away. This is Clancy. Mayor, come back to the CCD area immediately. There's danger of the energy unit area melting down. I have to go. Be careful. Look at this view. 300 meters deep in the ocean, where the light can't reach. I spent most of my life in a submarine. But the government looks at one mistake and cuts me off from my dreams by locking me up in this ocean floor prison. One mistake? No. One of the submarine missiles I launched hit a passenger ship, and it sunk. I was in disputed waters right before a war. Why does bad luck seem to follow me around? The energy unit area is about to melt down. There's not much time left. The only way to survive is to escape using the SEAL's DSRV. Could you call all base survivors here? But I don't know where everyone is. I know that Dubois has headed towards the energy unit area. We've got to try to save everyone. <coughs> I understand. I'll get the DSRV ready. I'm glad you're okay, John. Yeah, somehow. Were you worried about me? Well, yeah. By the way, there was a message from Commander Clancy for you to go to the deck.
Anna has locked the door from the other side. What's going on? Danny, we're escaping. Get ready to board the DSRV. Did Clancy say that? <laughs> My place is here. I'm not gonna leave. This place is about to melt down. I don't trust Clancy. Did you know that he sank a passenger ship on purpose? He wanted to raise his rank. He said it was an accident. <laughs> that was no accident. The sonar person warned him that a civilian ship was approaching. You seem to know a lot. Of course. I was the sonar person. That's why I can't trust him. People trying to get to Washington tried to cover it up, but it was found out in an internal check and taken to court martial. That's why he was sent here. He's the type who will kill a man for his career. Anyway, get ready to escape. Already there. Just have to move to the Navy area. There are a lot of creatures over there. Better to fight than to drown down here. How do you get to the energy unit area? There are a lot of different ways. The Sea Farm area elevator is the shortcut. Sharon knows that area well. Try going to the Sea Farm. Wait, what have we here? A torch. With this, I can torch the airlock door. Can I borrow this? Sure. Leave the area lock up to me. Is what I'd like to say, but this is out of gas. We'll be out of here soon. Don't move. I'm not going anywhere until Anthony returns. Anthony? The chimpanzee. You saw him at the Navy area. Oh. I'm not going anywhere without Anthony. There's danger of a meltdown. I know, but Anthony understands me. He's my only friend and I can't leave him. <sighs> Just stay here. Sharon, where's the elevator that's connected to the energy unit area? To get to the elevator, you need the passcode to get into the room before it. Do you know the pass number? Yeah, it's 2751. Why do you ask? Something needs to be done about the energy unit. It's about to melt down. You escape in the DSRV. Then we have to set this child free. Will it take long? Yes, because the power's out. The sequence is complicated and I have to go to the control room. Hurry! Okay. Oh, I've seen the DN area diver go around the outside of the big table to get to the energy unit in a robotic suit. DN area diver. Okay, thanks. John, be careful. You brought gas for the torch. Thanks. get to the energy unit. The sea farm elevator was a no-go. How about the other way? Other way. The only other way is to go through the ocean. How? The little shark is damaged. By walking on the ocean floor. There should be big gym suits in the DN area. Big gym. It's finished. We should be able to get through now. I have a favor to ask, John. If you see Anna, could you tell her that she doesn't need to act so macho? She's, uh, cute if she's quiet. Tell her yourself. If I could, I wouldn't be asking you. Okay, I'll tell her. Are you okay? <coughs> Fine. I got a cold. I have a message from Danny. He says, you don't need to act so macho. You're cute if you're quiet. That rude geek. And what does Mr. Rescue want with me? Not just Danny's message, right? I want to ask about the anti-pressure diving suits. I'm going to the energy unit area. Are you crazy? Even for us divers who are used to it, it's hard to walk on the ocean floor in the big gym. There's no other way. This place could melt down at any time. It has to be done. 
Meltdown? Follow me. That's my family. Sorry. I didn't mean to snoop. It's okay. I was supposed to be on that with my family. You don't get to see your family for several months when you're on a submarine. But that morning, an emergency came up and I returned to the base. My wife and daughter were mad. They went on the tour without me and that was it. I was first notified of the accident after my return, two months later. Panic is not permissible on a submarine, so bad news has to wait. I got sick of the military and quit. But it's strange, before I realized it, I was back in the ocean. I know. I should hate the ocean, but I'm here. Well, what, what did you want? I wanted to ask about the gum gun. It's a gun that shoots out a special resin. It's in the Navy area. Are you planning to do something crazy again? Well, yeah. Well, okay. The lift is ready. Go ahead and I'll follow. Okay. Sorry to make you wait. Get on the lift when I give the signal from the control room. Here, I'll give you this. It's the Navy Area ID card key. You'll need this for the Navy Area. I owe you one. Okay, anytime. Oh, oh, man, I hurt my leg. 
I can't walk by myself. I have a favor to ask. What? The meltdown is caused by heat combustion. That fallen harrier broke a pipe and the cooling water isn't getting to the energy chamber. I think it'll return to normal if the coolant starts flowing again. And? It won't budge. You should be able to open the coolant tank valve from here. What can be done? The only way is to go to the coolant tank and open the valve manually. Can you do it? Yeah. Good. I'll open the coolant tank room. If there's something you don't understand, ask me. I'll be here. Please open the valve. The valve is stuck from rust and resin. Is there any other way? Uh, oh, the only other way is to blow up the coolant tank with explosives. Explosives? Where can we get those? The explosive storeroom is in the separate connection park. There should be C4 explosives. How do you get in? You need the passcode. It is 3742. There's no time. Hurry and get it. I'll be right back. Is, is someone there? Who... who are you? John Mayer, ERS. <laughs> Can't get away from you. It's me, McCoy. Colonel McCoy? Stay where you are! Listen from there. The time I have left is short. N no. Yes. My body is being taken over by a creature. <laughs> I can't remember. I... this is called Iron Fist. <laughs> I'm reaching my end. <laughs> John, there's something I want to tell you. What? About Stella. At the time of the accident, you probably tried all you could to save her. Yes. These three years, I... I needed to talk to you, but if I did, I would blame myself for letting you and Stella go. Colonel McCoy. Don't come any closer. I don't want you to see me like this. I always thought of you as a brother. I wanted to give this to you after you and Stella got married. It's a Colt M1991 A1. It's from my father's generation. The pride of a strong America. I wanted to give you this. Okay, go. Iron Fist is gonna take his last shot. What are, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna blow this place. Get out of here. John, kill a creature for me. I'm taking you with me, damn monster!
Dubois, I got the C4. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Put the C4 on the pump, but there's nothing to detonate it with. We have to find something that could send a strong electric current. An electric current? Oh, yes, that's right. Put the C4 on the cooling tank panel. Tear apart the panel and expose the wiring. That way, an electric current can run from here. You're a genius. <laughs> There's no time. Go and place the C4 on the coolant tank. Okay, stay put. <coughs> I did as you told me. Oh, oh, the last thing to do is to escape. John, can I push the detonator? The building is like my child. I have to do it. It's all yours. Jim is damaged. There's a tunnel that leads to the big table. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't go in this condition. Don't give up. <laughs> I've made up my mind, John. Get out of here. I don't want to hurt you. I will open the tunnel door for you with the remote. But, but hurry and go. within the base is low. There is danger of an explosion. All staff on base should follow the emergency escape manual and leave immediately. wouldn't budge. But you're back and I feel safe now. Alright, John. We have to hurry and set the dolphins free. Wait, Sharon! Sharon! Be careful. The dolphins. Please save him. Come on, Sharon! Let's go back to land together. When you get back... What? Would you have an ice cream with me? Of course.
Go! Or Sharon's life will be wasted. Found Anthony. Yes. Are we clear from the meltdown danger? Yes. But I couldn't save everyone. I think you're doing wonderful, John. Don't get down on yourself. So I'm going to head back to the ERS room. Okay, Gina. Thanks. You're welcome. I forgot to tell you. The monsters. About the parasite cells. What? They're alternating generations and seem to be definitely evolving. Evolving? Let's get out of here. Yeah. How much longer will the base last? The air unit is broken, so the atmospheric pressure has gone crazy. A couple of hours, maybe less. Well, either way, I'm heading for the Navy area. Be careful. You too. Commander Clancy! <laughs> Wake up! John... I'm okay. I just fainted. What happened? As soon as I entered the room, Commander Clancy... No! Wait! Clancy! What do you mean? Don't be scared. My life means more than all of you small fish. I can't end my days here. I need to get the back at the people in Washington who treated me like a criminal. The survivors. I can't let them live. Evacuate the premises according to the manual within the next five minutes. I repeat, the base atmosphere pressure is dropping. What are you going to do, John? It's Danny. You're still around, Johnny boy. It looks like Clancy betrayed us. I knew it. Hurry up and come to the docking area. There's no time to lose. I'll go with Danny to the Navy area and wait for help. Go ahead. I'll protect you. Okay. Where's Danny? Anthony ran away again. Danny said he'll bring him back. Oh. You should be at the table. 
Okay. I've had it with him. He bit me, and he's a troublemaker. Go over to your owner. Okay, I'll push the button in the control room. Wait, and I'll get on it right away too. We've got to live so Danny's death isn't a waste. Let's go to the control room. I'll cover you. Okay. Let's go, Anthony.
Gina, wake up. Mm. John, what happened? The Navy area seems to be have flipped over. We'll have to wait for help. That is if this place holds. There should be a wireless here. Call for help with that. The radio's broken. Anthony's gone. Why? Do you worry about Anthony so much? Anthony was always alone. I grew up in an orphanage. I could never count on someone and had no real friends. Anthony's like that too. He wanted friends. I know that feeling well. We're alike in a lot of ways, and we understand each other. When I found Anthony, I felt like I had somebody. I wasn't alone anymore. He'll come back. I know. There should be parts for the radio somewhere. Maybe you could repair it with them. You stay here. Requesting a rescue team immediately. Two survivors and one... Over. Public sonar. Please wait. What's the matter? Rock Thieves. Fear of a secondary disaster. Rescue will take time. Hang in there. We don't have much time. Everything. Forty years ago, as an experiment, Anthony was shot up into space and returned to Earth. He was in a near-death state. It was almost like hibernation. Commander Clancy was the leader of the pod recovery plan. The Deep Blue Plan. He saw Anthony's condition and thought of something. What? If Anthony's body's mystery could be solved, then it would be possible to develop a cold sleep apparatus making longer space travel possible. Cold sleep? Clancy completed this idea very quickly, so he could again try getting into Washington. If the cold sleep system worked, he could get his promotion and fame. So he started a research program. You! Knew this and let Clancy use you for his egomaniac plans? If the plan succeeded, not only would extended space travel be possible, people suffering from incurable diseases could be helped. As a scientist, I felt I had to be part of this. When the research started, we found that it was a sudden bacterial change that caused Anthony's suspended animation. But by then it was too late. And the result is this. Kill Anthony. I mean... Because of him, the people at the big table died. He spread the parasite cell. It's just instinct for him to save his kind. He didn't mean harm. If you don't mean harm, does that mean you can do anything you want? Stop! I understand how you feel. But he can't be allowed to live or taken back to land. Stop, John, please. We're all... No, no.
There's no other way, except to wait for help. It's the key to the Navy area self-destruction switch. The switch is in the engine room. Push it and then get in the pod. The force of the explosion should carry you to the surface. Finish this invasion. It's up to you. Self-destruction sequence initiated. This area will destruct in five minutes. Thank you. 